Hello and welcome to Easter Jam. My name is Sam. And my name is Hannah. It's great to have you here with us. What an interesting season we're in at the moment. This is going to be an Easter like no other. We are standing our two metres apart from each other to present this to you. Easter Jam is for everybody. It's for everyone of all ages. Easter Jam is for you if you're in kids' tribes. It's for you if you're in youth as well, if you're in Excel or if you're older. Easter Jam is for everyone. So we want to make sure that everyone that lives in your house is a part of Easter Jam today. So if there's someone who lives with you and they're not with you right now, pause this video now, go and get them, bring them in. We want everybody to be involved. We're going to have fun all together. So we're going to get started in a second. We're going to get started in three, two, one. Let's Woo! go. Easter, a time for fake grass, plastic eggs, these things, chocolate bunnies, and people dressed as bunnies. And then there are the weird parts of Easter, like fake grass, plastic eggs, these things, chocolate bunnies, and people dressed as bunnies, which is interesting. But what does all this stuff have to do with Easter? And if this holiday is about more than candy and wearing uncomfortable clothes to church and lunch with your relatives, what makes Easter happy? So we are gonna get stuck in straight away with a game. This is gonna be fun for everybody in your household. Yeah, so what you're gonna need for this game is you are gonna need some marshmallows, some toothpicks, and a microwavable plate. So what you need to do is divide into two teams. So split yourselves now into two teams. Who's going with who? Oh, split yourself into two teams. And then you need to get a marshmallow per team. So you need one each, and you're gonna stick a cocktail stick in it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna place them on the plate like this with the cocktail sticks pointing towards each other, nearly touching, but not touching, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this plate, make sure that you know whose teams is whose marshmallow. So maybe you wanna get some Sharpies out or a pen and doodle on one of them, draw a funny face on it, do whatever, so you know who's is who. Maybe you're gonna have a pink one versus a white one, okay? And then you're gonna put this in the microwave for about a minute, okay? And it's not going to last the minute, so don't worry. You'll stop it soon before then. And what's going to happen is you're going to say, three, two, one, go. You're going to start that microwave, and you are going to watch as your marshmallows grow and grow and grow. The first cocktail stick to stab the other marshmallow is the winner. Make sure you stop the microwave, get it out, and see who the winning team is. And you can play this as many times as you want to, depending on how many marshmallows you've got, or how many you've already eaten, or how many you've got left. If you haven't got marshmallows, then... Um, you could just play it with cocktail sticks on the plate and put it in for about 10 minutes and just stand there. Nothing's going to happen, but it might be entertaining the kids for a little bit. Okay, so this is marshmallow jousting. So you're going to pause the video now. Have, pause the video now. Have a go. Here we go. Wow, how much fun was marshmallow jousting? Who was the winning team? Give us a cheer. Fantastic. Don't forget if you took pictures of your marshmallow jousting, post it on social media with a hashtag EasterJam2020 or hashtag Life Central together. So we are going to play another game now. This is called the Easter Egg Throwdown. You are going to need your washing basket and also a load of socks. Doesn't matter if they're clean or they're dirty. You just need to make sure you've got loads and loads of pairs of matching socks. So, if you haven't got those, go and get them now. Pause the video now and go and grab them. <laughs> so, the way this game works is you need to make sure all of the socks are out of their pairs and also out of the washing basket as well. You need to tip them all out into a pile on the floor or all over yourself if you want to. And then you need to make sure that your washing basket is across the other side of the room because you are going to be trying to throw the socks into that washing basket. So what will happen is there'll be someone from each team and you will be both going at the same time trying to ball up the socks into the shape of a ball or an Easter egg. And then you are throwing them across the room, across the room, into the washing basket and everyone that you get into the washing basket is a point so you either need to be keeping track of how many you get into the washing basket and you need to be honest about that or somebody else in your household can keep count so you need to be balling those up there'll be a timer and throwing them into the washing basket across your room that is the easter egg throwdown. give it a go here's the timer off we go <laughs>
did it go? Who won? Make sure that you give that person a prize in your house, whoever won. Well done to you. Fantastic. So this is a really interesting season that we're in and this is probably going to be an Easter like you've never had before. Well, we thought it would be a great opportunity to wish some people happy Easter. So we are giving you three ways that you can personally wish someone a happy Easter. So option number one is to run into your back garden and shout happy Easter as loud as you can. Option two is to message five people that you're friends with, be it over social media or via text or WhatsApp, message them and just say Happy Easter. Or the third option is to video call grandparents or a family member or somebody that you've not spoken to in a long while and wish them a Happy Easter and see how they're doing today. So those three options are gonna come up on the screen now. So each of you, you need to pick one of those things to do. Pause this video, here are your three options. Fantastic, I'm sure you've made somebody very happy there. You know, Easter is a very special time for us as Christians and just because we can't come together for our Easter production or for our kids' tribes or for Excel or youth or meet together in any way, it doesn't mean that God isn't with us and God is with you wherever you are watching this right now. And we want to remember what Easter is really all about. So we are going to watch the Easter story now, but instead of actors or people dressing up and showing us the story, instead it's going to be shown through everyday items that you might find in your washing basket. So take a look, here's the Easter story. In the beginning, God created everything. He formed people in his very own image. But then we turned away from God. Sin entered the world like a dark stain. Still, God loved us so deeply that he made a plan to rescue us. At just the right moment, God sent his very own son, Jesus, to live among us. Jesus healed hearts and minds and bodies. Thousands gathered to hear him teach. Instead of giving lots of new rules, Jesus turned things upside down by making it simple. Love God, love others. After three years of traveling and teaching, Jesus and his disciples entered Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast. Huge crowds gathered to welcome him. But while the crowds cheered for Jesus, the religious leaders made plans to arrest him. He was turning their world upside down and they wanted him gone. As Jesus celebrated the Passover meal with his friends, he told them that he would be leaving, but would return. His friends didn't understand. That night, one of Jesus' followers, Judas, led soldiers to arrest him. The religious leaders gave Jesus a fake trial and then sent him to Pilate, the Roman governor, who could have him killed. Pilate found Jesus had broken no law and tried to release him. But a mob called for Jesus to be killed. Pilate gave in and handed Jesus over to the Roman soldiers. Jesus was forced to carry the heavy beams of his own wooden cross. On a hill called Golgotha, the soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the rough wood. The soldiers and people who passed by laughed and mocked him. But from the cross, Jesus asked God to forgive them. Finally, Jesus called out, It is finished. Then he died. The earth shook. Rocks split open. Even the soldiers cried, Surely he was the Son of God. One of Jesus' followers took his body and placed it in a tomb cut from the rock. A huge stone blocked the entrance. Jesus' friends were devastated. They had believed that Jesus was the one God promised, the one who would rescue them, but now he was gone. Their whole world had turned upside down. 
Jesus' friends stayed hidden in fear for three days. But early Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene, a close friend of Jesus, hurried to the tomb. She planned to anoint Jesus' body with special spices. As Mary neared the tomb, she saw the stone had been rolled away. The tomb was empty. Mary turned to see a man standing near. She didn't recognize him until he said, Mary, it was Jesus, alive. Jesus told her, do not hold on to me. I have not yet ascended to the Father. Instead, go to those who believe in me. Jesus, God's Son, became like us to lay down his life. Through God's power, he defeated death for all of us, and sin was washed away. One day, he's promised to return so we can live with him forever. fantastic retelling of the Easter story. You know, I love Easter. I love remembering the fact that Jesus beat death and he is alive. We're going to do an activity now. All of you that are watching together are going to do an activity to think about what are the things in our life? What can we do? What can we know? Because Jesus is alive. So we're going to put a question on screen and it's going to say, I can, and there's going to be a space for you to fill something in because Jesus is alive. Hannah, can you think of one? Yeah, I can love others because Jesus is alive. I was going to say, I can be brave because Jesus is is alive and I can have hope because Jesus is alive fantastic so we want all of you to think of at least one thing that you could add to that sentence I can because Jesus is alive so pause the video now as this question comes on screen So we hope you came up with some really cool answers to that question. And guys, let's remember that even in this really strange time, we can have hope because Jesus is alive. Yeah. So we want you to remember this. I'm sure you are going to remember this time, but we want you to remember Easter Jam 2020 and this Easter that we've shared together. So we want you to take a photo with the people who are in your household. Yeah, so what we want you to do in a minute, pause the video again. We want you to get up, go in the garden, go and stand by the front door, take a selfie in the lounge, wherever you want to do it. We want you to take a picture with everybody that you're doing Easter Jam with. And then we want you to put it on social media with the hashtag Easter Jam 2020 and the hashtag live central together you know there are families all over the world doing this easter jam together in their homes and where they live and we want to be a part of that and so we want to share these pictures on social media with the hashtag easter jam 2020 but also with our live central family so put the hashtag live central together so pause the video now go and take a selfie somewhere make it as creative as you want to pause in three two one So what kind of photo did you guys take together? Did you take a serious smiley one or did you take a silly one? We are going to finish up our time together by singing together. We are going to worship. So we're going to sing a song called Alive. For those of you in kids tribes, you will know this one. It's on our YouTube channel. But also for any of you in youth or adults, you'll know this. We've done this on Sunday services. This song has been out for a while. It's a great song about Jesus being alive in us. The lyrics are going to be on screen and also the actions to the song are going to be in the bottom corner. So kids, if you want to join in and do the actions, you can. Everybody else, if you want to join in and sing along, Let's finish our time together by worshipping together.
So thank you so much for joining us for our Easter Jam 2020. We hope to see you soon. Take care. I've been Sam. And I've been Hannah. We'll see you soon. Bye.